this TikTok platform, we have thought that we have got Dr. Partha Mukherjee. We have seen his exciting and interesting uh, journey of uh, being a medical educator in various universities in uh, Australia and also part of a substantial commercial businesses and had handled complex projects across the continent. And we are trying to extract the life lesson from his uh, learning. Uh, sir, for target audience, can you throw some light in terms of inculcating spirituality for self-management? Absolutely. Uh, so self-management uh, essentially is about managing yourself in the most stressful crisis situation, small, medium or large. So one way of self-management is basically how to reduce the challenges or the stress in your life. And it's a simple formula where if the external challenges are X and you have the resilience of Y. So X and Y relationship is basically governs whether you're managing self well or not. For example, if X is 100, that means external challenge is 100 and your resilience is uh, only 80, mm -hmm. then you're not being able to cope up with the challenge of 100 because you have only 80. 80 yes. Whereas if the challenge remains 100, but you have progress from 80 to 90 and 100 to 120, 150, that means your capability of resilience is much stronger than the 100, which is the external. Mm -hmm. So external cannot be changed, but you can change yourself. You can change yourself. Change yourself. So okay. therefore, what is the connection of changing yourself, which is self-management to spirituality? Mm -hmm. So the spirituality is connection comes there, is that we develop our resilience with spiritual practices. Now, the millions of people go to Shirdi Sai Baba. Mm -hmm. Shirdi Sai Baba says two things, Shraddha and Saburi. Mm -hmm. Shraddha means basically having faith. Mm -hmm. Saburi is having patience. 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 So with Shraddha in management practices of self, in my opinion, is Shraddha is about having the respect for Indian spiritual practices mm -hmm. and somebody is having patience that I keep practicing things like meditation, mm -hmm. things my, like reflection mm -hmm. and with patience one day my 80 resilience will become 90, 100, maybe 200. Mm -hmm. So that is the connection between uh, self-management from the lessons learned from Indian spirituality. Mm -hmm. I have been doing this for a very long time. So I can share what I do is that every time there is a challenge or a crisis, I actually go in for pondering or deliberation on that subject alone in isolation. Could be late at night instead of sleeping, I will be pondering over that. In any case, I won't get sleep mm -hmm. if there's a crisis. So instead of trying to test us, I will actually sit in meditation in my bed Mm -hmm. And I will allow me to think on that challenges, think, think and think. That's called deliberation. Mm -hmm. When you deliberate on that individual topic, mm -hmm. it, your mind will pose questions and answers without, without any uh, stoppage. Mm -hmm. uh, and after some time with the questions and answers, the challenge looks so insignificant because it becomes boring because you have overexposed yourself with the challenge. Mm -hmm. When you overexpose yourself, that challenge itself becomes so insignificant that you transcend in this challenge. Mm -hmm. So one way of dealing with challenges is called the method of deliberation. Mm -hmm. So there are many other practices, mm -hmm. which of course in, in this episode we will not be able to cover. Mm -hmm. But I will invite you to actually explore the various spiritual practices from the practices that you are comfortable with, whichever religion or whichever uh, spirituality you follow, I think all religion and spirituality talks about certain practices for self-realization, self-awareness, self-control, self-regulation. Uh, use those practices with Shraddha and Saburi, which means with full faith and with patience you will see that you will get amazing result as a leader in the greatest of the challenges. You will get insights, direction and solutions.
that is guaranteed i can tell you the divine will give you solutions which a consultant or a lawyer or an accountant or a doctor will not give you but the divine will give you the right right solution so that's my request to all of you to to try this out and see whether it works for you it worked for me and i know it worked for many of my friends colleagues or professionals i'm sure it will work for you i'm sure so it's a great uh, insights to what uh, you have shared with the target audience in terms of mm-hmm. how to inculcate the speech or respect for self management and the way of going at with the medit- meditation and sadan so sabori like you know so they should have a patience uh, in now uh, going with uh, this kind of and uh, practices and also in terms of introspection and the self realization thanks a lot for saying a word of wisdom for target audience i'm sure like uh, uh, the target audience will listen to dr patha mukherjee the uh, the insights and the insight of his practices in life is going to help uh, the target audience also like just to practice the meditation i'm sure the things can be uh, different as for well the career which is concerned and you like to like so thank you very much thank you like